Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Forza Motorsport once again. Today we're discussing Forza Motorsport's update number five, which includes four new cars, that being the 1965 Lotus Team Lotus Type 35, the 2018 Ford number 83 Breathless Pro Racing TA Mustang, the 2015 Cadillac number no. 3 Cadillac Racing ATS-VR. And last but not least, the 2020 Audi TT RS Coupe. And the big part of this update is, as you can tell on this carnage of a track, we are on the Nürburgring's Neutschleifer. Yes, the Nürburgring GP circuit was already in. But now we have the Neutschleifer. So I could be discussing more about update number five and discussing a lot of the other things that were added and how it's such a great thing for this game. But I wanted to discuss something else today. And that was why I no longer have Forza Motorsport installed in my primary computer. Now this is gonna be a complete antithesis to the video that I made a couple of weeks ago where I defended Turd 10 and a lot of their developmental decisions that they made while working on this game. And I still stand by them. I do think that we do need to provide, as a society, a little bit more empathy towards Turn 10 because they're between a rock and a hard place. They've got Microsoft breathing down their neck saying, why aren't you making a good game? but you also need to make us a lot of money and we're going to give you absolutely very little time to do it apart from the six years that they got to do it, but I digress. And then the community at large where no matter what you do, the community is going to yell at you for not focusing on something else. But I wanted to discuss, instead of the big picture, I want to discuss my personal experience. So again, this is no gripe against Turn 10 themselves. This is just the stuff that I've been doing in my personal non-video making side of life. Where reason number one is my main computer that I'm using nowadays is a custom built ITX computer that I have in our family room that does essentially console gaming. It's running Camara OS. So the issue is compatibility. What's interesting is, is that Forza Horizon 4 and Forza Horizon 5 work just fine on Steam OS and Camaro OS. But the issue is, is that Forza Motorsport does not. And as you may have all seen, I've tried numerous ways to get it to work with the Steam Deck through Steam Remote Play and even going as far as installing Microsoft Windows 10 on the Steam Deck to be able to run it. But when I've got so many games that run just fine on SteamOS where I don't need Windows, I kind of look at the big picture and go, well, why am, I, why am I focusing on this one game so much when I have this entire library of games that I could rather play with better compatibility and better just experience in general? And as we have found out, the main reason why this is not working on SteamOS or Linux or whatnot is when the game opens, it opens an Xbox Game Services like sub program that brings up the login screen for you to log into your Microsoft account, like lets you sign in, and you're all good to go. For whatever reason, it doesn't do that on any Linux based device, which is a little bit stupid because like I said, Forza Horizon 4 and 5 do it just fine which is beyond me but why I'm a little bit upset about it is that it's just another one of those bugs that turn 10 has to work out and I don't think they ever will because Microsoft is the one who owns them it works just fine on their proprietary software or operating system so why would they make an update or a bug fix to have better compatibility with devices that aren't owned by Microsoft. It's just, it makes them no extra money. Apart from maybe a couple of sales for Steam Deck, which at that point they would just say, well, 
get Game Pass or whatever their strategy is these days. So for the second reason why it's no longer installed on my main computer, apart from the fact that I couldn't ever really get it to play, so reason number two is the career. Now with racing games, most people play a little bit of the career and then a lot of the multiplayer. I'm a little bit of the inverse where I like playing through the careers because I don't ever really have a whole lot of people to play with and I like playing in a party of people versus just to the random people out on the internet. As many people have seen, this game is full of rammers and I don't find that a whole lot appealing dealing with people who have no consideration for you or your driving and if they're not first they will ram you all off the road and just again not interested so the career then as much as turn 10 states that it's a whole different career it's in my mind almost identical to forza motorsport 7s where you get a car you do a couple of practices you do a couple of races in a certain cup you get done with that cup and then you move to the next one this version i do enjoy how instead of just staying with the same car and just nothing really happens in between races i enjoy the fact that you can upgrade said car and really kind of build a connection with that said car and and work with it and experience it as it grows as you add new parts and add new handling models and, and just i do like that it adds instead of it just being static all the way across you're growing with your car so i think that's kind of cool but the career mode is if you've played forza motorsport before which i think a lot of people who are excited about this game have or it's just like well this is exactly like the other career modes and like a lot of these career modes go they give you a lot of cars that you don't want to play first the really slow ones and then you got to work a really long way a lot of grinding to get up to the top where you can actually enjoy playing these cars again that's like every other racing game which i don't know but i think the issue that i have especially is that i think uh, reason number three is that the driving just I don't know how to describe it. It just feels bland. And I think it might have something to do with either the handling model or something to do with like the AI. I don't know how to, how else to describe it, but like when you get in a race with Gran Turismo 7, like it's exhilarating. It's complex, it's challenging. It's and very rewarding but with this i just again could be the sound could be any number of things but like the racing is just bland it doesn't have that extra spice or pizzazz to it and i don't find it all that fun which is a huge issue games are supposed to be fun and it just the career mode just kind of feels like a chore because the racing is not interesting it's pretty grindy it's exactly what we've seen before and i have no interest in doing online because again the people that you race with online half of them are children who just want to see cargo crash sorry not interested the next reason is kind of an interesting one i might have touched on it a little bit in previous videos but it's kind of the expectation versus reality turn 10 did not communicate whatsoever during those six years in between games they did a little bit but they did not manage our expectations very well where their lack of communication breeded this open speculation and the amount of time that we had to speculate made our expectations 
go that much more unchecked into the point where we thought we were going to get the most amazing racing game in the world and when we get a meh kind of racing game it feels like a slap in the face like I said a lot of the stuff was carried over what it feels from previous ports of games I do know that they spent a lot of time working on their game engine and talked about how it's 48 times more complex when it comes to the physics sure that's nice but like do we really care like if it's that much more complex and that much more that much higher fidelity but it's still based off of the same thing I don't know I don't know how to describe it it just the biggest offender of this is the graphics expect expectations where they only showed off the same tra trailer for a couple of years that made it look photorealistic and then we had that Xbox games presentation of like June 2021 and gave this amazing look at Maple Leap Maple Forest Raceway I'm trying to remember the name of it and it looks beautiful. They talked about the RTX, like ray tracing, excuse me, the ray tracing of the car's reflections and all the rest of it. And it just looked beautiful. And then we didn't hear anything for a year until we finally saw game preview footage where we go, oh no, that looks nothing like that. And again, all throughout that, if they would have said, hey, you know, in order to make this game more optimized for consoles, we had to downgrade some of the graphics. But it got to a point where the graphics were downgraded so much that we're not comparing it with the previous game. We're comparing the graphics with the last two to three. I remember seeing a lot of people comparing this graphics and the graphics of Forza Motorsport 5 being potentially more superior and when I was just loading up this race again looking at the cars as they're all loaded in I kind of had a light bulb moment and said this looks exactly like our factor 2 and that game was a game from 2013 which I think is about the time frame that Forza Motorsport 5 was from in this day and age whenever you make improvements on a game engine or make improvements with the game in general you can't stagnate you got to be pushing the boundaries i don't doubt that turn 10 has been pushing the boundaries in some other aspects of the game but like the biggest thing is that xbox needed some absolutely massive exclusives to be able to say this is why you want to purchase our console so it needs games that have amazing graphics and just games that just live up to the hype and just kind of across the board none of them have so that's maybe not a failure of turn 10 but just microsoft as a whole so the last reason i had noticed maybe about a week ago and it's probably the most disappointing of all of these reasons is that I've kind of given up. I love Turn 10. I love the games that they've made. I have a huge amount of respect for the developers. I know they've done an amazing job with this game. But they had a tremendously garbage release. And I think they should take a page out of Hello Games book. And just keep working on this game for years to come and just put their noses to the grindstone and just work on it they've got a ton that they need to work on which thankfully they have made a blog post i referenced this before saying that they were going to work on this stuff but what i was kind of noticing before like i was stating about like my previous videos discussing about how to get this to work on the steam deck I noticed that it was entirely down to them to make it compatible and Valve is going to try their best to work on Proton files to be able to get that stuff to maybe hopefully be compatible but it's just 
with the blandness of the career mode, the blandness of how it looks and how it feels, with how superb we've got so many other great racing games that have come out recently that just draw my attention in. I go, I am fighting to get this game to run on all sorts of devices. So even if I don't worry about the computer upstairs or even if I don't worry about the Steam Deck, when I am playing it even down here on my Windows computer, it's still got some bugs that we've discussed in previous videos where my wheel didn't want to work with it for a couple of times. Where the AI is just buggy and... It's just like, why am I fighting so hard with a game I barely enjoy? Which, again, is sad because I waited six long years just like the rest of you. And it's just kind of like... I recently got Helldivers 2. I never thought I would enjoy a game like that. But it's superb. And yes, it's not a racing game. But there are so many games that are coming out that are just drawing my attention away that are compatible with SteamOS, that are compatible with Windows, well, Linux, that is compatible with Camara OS, that runs great on a controller upstairs that I can just turn on and run. So with all this fighting to be able to get to a point where it's like, I don't, I'm kind of done. I didn't think I would come to this place mentally for a long time. And the fact that we're here less than six months after release it's incredibly disappointing and it just I'm kind of done and I'm not even playing this on game pass or I don't even have the standard version I had the hundred dollar pre-ordered version that you didn't get a whole lot of content anyway as it was so I think I might put this game down for a while I might cover the next couple of updates that come out. I'm hoping that update number six addresses like the car building, car progression. It sounds like that they're changing it to where you can buy car points with credits. It's not a bad idea. Where they have all the car part unlocks immediately. Yeah, yes and no. I kind of, I do like it, but then I, there are parts of me that doesn't. So it's just... I'm going to let them work on this game and hopefully we can come back in six months to a year to a completely different game. One that's fun and enjoyable. But until then, I have no point in going for further. So my apologies today for a little bit of a downer of a video. Again, a little bit of a clickbaity video, but it's just... Life is short. I want to enjoy the little free time that I have when I'm not working and when I'm not sleeping. And this just isn't drawing me in enough to be able to justify the time spent. I am hoping that one day it will. But right now it's not. So I'm eagerly awaiting anything that Gran Turismo 7 is doing. As you guys all know, I'm still waiting for that PC release and I'm still waiting for those updates to come out. So even when it's not being updated on a monthly basis, I'm still enjoying Gran Turismo 7 a ton more than Motorsport. And Need for Speed Unbound and Need for Speed Heat. So, turn 10, I'm sorry. I love you guys dearly, but keep working on this. So, again, thanks so much for watching. If you guys have... Uh, comments where you think i'm out of line let me know in the comments section down below if you think i'm right maybe give that affirmation i don't know tell me what you guys are thinking these days about forza motorsport maybe i'm wrong because you guys look at that blog post and say hey man they're working their butts off and they got a lot of great stuff coming down the pipeline and I actually enjoy multiplayer please leave those comments down in the comment section below i definitely are reading every one of them so let me know all your guys's opinions 
Again, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.